Before you fight Ludwig, you're able to pick among two NPCs to summon. There's three in total, so there's one down the stairs, and then there's another one behind these sort of gravekeepers or whatnot, giants. You can just backstab them three times in a row to get rid of them, or more or less, depending on how strong you are. No need to move all the way up to their back before you backstab. You don't even really need to move at all, just the first backstab. And then when they sort of fall in front of you, you could just charge up an attack right after. And then continue from there. Very easy stuff. And you get like, what, six blood vials and ten bullets if you're in need of those. Then you just want to come around on the right. And you can summon this fellow right here. And then you can summon arguably the best one right over here. Right behind these carrion crows. Obviously, for those red summons, you need the impurity rune back there is a witch if you go away from your controller for whatever reason uh just be careful because that witch may grab you and kill you uh only enemy though so if you want to you can kill it either way you want the executioner set moment you get into the fight he's gonna do that jump attack you just want to roll underneath it right here you just want to take full advantage of the of the corner sort of railing whenever you need to heal or whatnot and Obviously, you want to fight him in this back area because if you fight him in the big open area, he'll keep hopping all over the place like a crackhead. Um, I mean, you can kind of tell he kind of is a crackhead, <laughs> like the textbook definition by looking at him. But <clears throat> essentially, I'm using the transformed version of Ludwig's Holy Blade just because it can stagger him a lot better. Not in the way you would think, not like stun lock, but. Uh, just stagger him in the sense of it's gonna break his limbs and he's going to sort of flinch every so often and that gives me more opportunities to hit him. And then just wanna keep whacking him obviously. Use fire paper or bolt paper, apparently that works pretty well. And obviously if you want you could use the light version of the weapon. Just a smaller sword. I just use this one. Because on top of that up to, on top of being heavy to stagger it's also a lot bigger when he does that attack obviously you want to stay out of that way but a lot of the time when he's on the stairs you'll just be able to completely ignore that attack right here you have a good few seconds that's why you want to fully recharge your health and then obviously after a few seconds of the blood coming down you just want to dodge out of the way Obviously he has some jumps where it's short, some jumps where it's long. When you see the blood coming down, that's a long one. And you can kind of tell because the longer jumps are sort of bigger. With that attack, you want to dodge out of the way. On higher difficulties, that attack will guaranteed one-shot you. So you want to always be watching out for that. But when you're in the corner, he should like very rarely do it, if ever. Because you're always up close and personal with him. After a while, of course, you'll also get in a good visceral attack after you've been hitting his head a good bit. And then, just it's a very simplistic strategy. Just stay under him, essentially, because his attacks will go over you. Once he's in second phase, he's arguably easier, but at the same time, arguably more difficult. Because first phase, he's a lot more unorganized. Second phase, he's a lot crazier. Yeah, but then again, he only hits you with his sword. He doesn't really hit you with the rest of his body. So when he's doing the attack where he plunges his sword into the ground, you just want to get away from him. Pop some healings, fire paper, or whatever you need. And then you just want to be... You want to memorize his attacks because this phase is very difficult and he's essentially the hardest boss in the game, in my opinion, anyway. Hardest boss in the DLC, especially because you can't stagger this guy, like, or rather you can't stun lock him in that sense. Even if you use your guns on him, it won't stagger him. Even if you use the cannon on him, it won't stagger him, which is absolutely insane. He's, I'm pretty sure he's the only boss that does that. So after you've been hitting him a decent bit, you'll be able to visceral attack him. And what I want you to keep in mind is when he does that attack, where he puts the sword in the air, that's your primary time to start whacking at him. Even when you take a little bit of damage, you will never die from it. And on top of that, you just want to stay on his side and you'll completely avoid that big attack he does. And then you can get a whole bunch of attacks in. So he has sort of two main attacks. 
in this sort of um, second phase. He'll swing twice in front of him, then he'll do a big swing on the ground, and then he'll do a side swing, so you want to be careful of that. Um, otherwise, he'll do three large overhand attacks or overhead attacks, um, and then that's a good opportunity to heal and maybe hit him. Essentially, you just want to be focused on surviving in this fight, and maybe the Executioner set isn't too good for his second phase. I'm not sure what's best for his second phase. Maybe the Choir set, because he does arcane damage for the sword. I'm not too sure. But... If you can or if you want, you can obviously lure him into this back area. It's a little risky, but it's a high risk, high reward kind of thing. And then once he's really close to death, you'll be able to visceral attack him again. Although that's kind of useless, but that's how it goes. And then he's finally dead. Obviously, for runes, I'd recommend just all communion runes. I had one communion rune, and then just uh the moon runes because i didn't really know what else to equip because i've killed him quite a few times before either way you'll just want to come up to him if you're wearing the executioner set you can talk to him and get a special dialogue if you're wearing any non-church gear so i mean if you're wearing gascoigne set or the church garb then you'll have that dialogue but if you're not you'll just get some other dialogue and after a while he'll just start laughing like the crackhead he is <laughs> And then you just want to kill him in order to get his sword. I don't even think you really need to kill him. Just hit him and then you get the sword. It's a really great sword, but it's much better scaled with arcane. Pretty decent sword, especially since you can sort of fully stagger enemies even without transforming it. But yeah, now you're done. Hope that helped. See ya.